Hello my people, how on a day? Now welcome to today's program on learning skill on Top Wa TV channel. My name is Rashida Tawa Ogunleke. I'll be your new tutor on top this program. And here yeah, I have my model. Lato ya if you make it. So today I go to show you how to do 3D flowers nails on acrylic and also how we go to put our stone on our nails. And the materials we will go to need for today's class are cortical pusher, our nail file, buffer, nail cutter, artificial nail cutter, and these red stones, our square tips nails. And I have um, acrylic powder. I get this nude and I'm using white for my 3D. Nail glue, acrylic liquid, my top coat, my primer, my cortical oil, and I have my nail duster. I have my dissolver and then my nail lamp here. Yeah. I get my dusting machine for here too. So let's get started. I won't prep our nails first. I know say all of us don't pass all this stage by now. So as I'm doing my own, start your own prepping too. I don't finish with my fixing and I believe say you say you're supposed to almost done round up if you are not done you can still continue with your own just take your time while fixing it so I won't cut them to the length where I want or where my clients want either way I need to say I never trim my own cuticle. I can trim my cuticle before I fix. I can trim it after I fix. So now anyone what I want to do. If you don't fix it, if you don't trim your cuticle, it's good. But if you never trim them, I beg try to trim them. It's only if your client's cuticle area is not needed to be trimmed. The purpose of it be say make make our finishing day neat. News the as, as you place your acrylic, it go be very neat because if your foundation don't do it, the outcome of your nails go be surely neat. So. Now I'm done blending. I hope so. We all there on the same page. Just apply my primer. So 
so me i go to use my uh this cover pink is it nude this is a nude no cover pink actually now customize the one now me draw myself so it's a customized nude i'm in love with the house comb and i go say i'm gonna start applying the nude because i like the nude a lot See how flow my acrylic looks. Now me draw. If you have your own nude too, you can use your nude. And if you know get the, the nude powder, you can use any powder that you want to achieve this. finish with the acrylic filling but we're going to wait for it to dry the nails don't dry so now we are going to file it shape it we don't shape them before we're just reshaping and then buff it before our design i'm going to put on my new dusting machine if not, no vest for the noise a bit. I don't finish with my shaping, my filing, my buffing. So now it's just to clean it. If I don't clean them, 
I will start my design. First thing we are going to do is to put my stones first. And then I'm going to use this poly gel to hold it down. If you have a stone glue, if you use them, if you use your top coat, so it is not a must you use this. Most times I use my top coat, so if you use anything, we they convenient for you. So first say your, your glue goes stay. Okay. spreading it to where I want my glue to get to my stones to get to where I won't make it rich now they are they spread the poly gel you can use your top coat if you use them um, you know matter and there's a stone picker I mean, I don't get stone picker for here but I can use my my pusher the other mouth this other edge so far, say so you don't touch the poly gel where they use the go hold them. But if you have your stone picker, you feel use them is the best. When we talk about stones, if you want to put your stones, if your clients bring pictures, just follow the pictures. But if she no bring pictures, if you do anything will come to your mind and you know that anything you are doing should actually look good at the end of the day. So if people see her, I mean they like her. If your client see her, make sure you like her. And if it even show her before you go dry her. But like this, as I they apply my own, as I they put my stones like this. I feel still come out them because I never dry them for lamp. So it depends. If your clients don't like them, if you come out them another one okay so I think I like this it's just this simple I don't want something too much so stone is one of the luxurious things in nails so if you like luxurious things Anything luxurious, you go like stones as a personal nail tech. And even if your customers not come with the stones or they not come with the stone pictures, if you give them an idea, see me then try the stones. Using stones on their nails like to come out nice. So it just depends on you basically. So I think I like the way my stones come out here too. So I go use my 3D flowers so i don't need to say i won't hard stones on the other nails because i like my things simple but if, if you feel say you still want stone more stones on your nails if you feel put them for this cortical area you feel even full and fully by itself but it depends on you and you know say in nails as a nail tech now how your customers want their nails now they important mostly so, I go kill this one like this. Eh, I never dry them. I feel still come out anyone who I know, like, or I feel still put them well. If I feel say, okay, you know, they very straight or something, I can still adjust it. But once you don't enter the lamp, there's nothing we can do about it. If you want to pull lamp, it go just be like say you won't pull nails because it go down the very hard. You go need to pull them, you go need to fight down nails again. So now another stress. So it did like right now, they're very sure whether waiting you put with whether you day whether it day on point, whether it's on the right track or not, before you go care. If you fit turn your client's nails to confirm, this is what I do most times. Is it straight? Is it on point before I go dry them? So I think this is fine for me. So I go dry them now. Put your hand aside. And stones, 
they come in different colors we get crystal stones we get colored ones this one is red it's colored stones we have crystal we have other colors we have blue we have so it depends on what you want to achieve and it's the way you want to achieve now you go determine the color of the stones that you'll be using so that is it basically and my 3d i'll be using white acrylic powder now my stones don't stay they cannot remove again at this point so the next thing to do before i go put my 3d flower i won't put my top coat it is needed you need to put your top coat first because that 3d i don't want to make top coat touch them it's always fine when it is dry Make sure say you they avoid your top coat to get to avoid that make you no know, touch the stones because when it dries it just does the stone like I don't know how to explain better it does it like that glittering sparkle it just bring that top coat vibe so it's better it's better not to touch it just cleaning the excess of my top coat so it doesn't look thick at the end so we'll dry it again now the nails don't dry next thing we'll go do now is, is to put our 3d flowers we can do 3d we can do 5d but general name will the color is 3d flowers you gonna need a brush like this to achieve your 3d see this one at the even right hand there 3d brush so if you want if you don't get this brush just once you get to the market or anywhere where you won't buy even though not online just ask them whether they get 3d brush so it gets in one special brush and i like this the brush in the day some the day smaller than this some the day bigger than this but not really big because at the end of the day we go still need and make it this small so when we touch it we go feel it go feel give us what we want achieve at the end of the day this powder if you don't drop on it now the same thing we they do together just spread our hands I do for you and I want now I want to repeat for this side too. I want to spread it out a bit. This way you feel still correct them if you never dry. You can quickly do anything where you want to do to your to your 3D at this moment. But once it don't dry, it just is is acrylic that we are using. So I know say by now if you know how acrylic they be. If you put them fresh, you feel still control them if the powder never dry but once the powder don't dry that's the end there's no solution to it so anything where you want correct or anything where you want do now when you place the powder where you did when you did do your 3d when they reshape and to wait how you won't make it come out now you go determine 
But if you don't leave them for long, say now, okay, I won't come start to the adjust them. It don't dry. You can't do anything to it. So you need to be fast about the design. But as a beginner, I go advise say, if you no get them now, don't be say make you get another person, get a human behind before you go fit try your 3D. If you carry nails, just just normal single nails, make you take practice some. And the more you do, the more you get used to it. your powder too the how you pick them you're gonna need to use your high scanner whether wait till you pick for the first time they the same with the second one and wait till i pick pick for the first two not be the same amount that they pick for these other ones now these ones are a bit smaller because i don't want to make them they thick as much as your first two be. finish my 3d on a 5d this one a 5 so either ones I don't finish them you see how my own come out nobody say your own go come out like this and nobody say other people's own self could come out like this it just depends on you just work on it you can even get something better than this that is how it works and 3d it just gets your own beauty it gets your own beauty if we still get time for this class, I will still show on the three own instead of this one. If that means that is if time still did, we can still do something different, which is still in this form, but it might not be this exact one. It will still be another way of doing the 3D. So that's the end, I think. So we're gonna need to put our cortical oil for the finish, I know say if we don't mention cortical hair, all of us don't know what cortical hair means. But this is our final look for the nails. This is how it go come out. This is how it go day. If now notice I know put top coats after I don't put my 3D because the matte finish now it be the purpose of the 3D. Some people put up coats, but to me I just believe that it comes out nicer and better when you don't put anything on it and it day unique on its own. So no put top coats. Now why we don't put our top coats before we apply the 3D flowers. And now we're gonna need to put our cortical oil for the finishing. So this is our final look for this class and I believe say we did on the same page. If you all still not come out like this, just try them again. Try more times. I did sure say we don't pass all this acrylic feeling part. So it's just the design. Just take your time. You can practice it even if you are not using human nails. Carry your normal artificial nails where would they fix. Just try it on it. It will still come out nice. So my people, that's the end of today's class. I hope so when I enjoy them, because even me myself, I enjoy them. And practice more, Adek. Practice more, it is very, very important, so that we go feed you on the same page. I go see you next week. I still remain your host, Rashidat Tanwa Ogunleke. And here I have my model. Latoya Ife Michael. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.